mass, space, time and energy all become equal to each other. So far, it was largely the philosophers who studied human consciousness, but a serious effort to understand consciousness and walk the path towards ultimate reality was made at the MIT World Peace University in the form of the world's first conference on consciousness, the ultimate reality. You have landed up into, science lands you up into equating all the four and finally what happens is the question again comes in whether all these MLTE are really there or it is something which you are imposing on it. So the reality, finally, quantum mechanics says, reality is in superposition. And they also say that reality is, uh, uh, can be represented by a quantum wave function which has infinite probabilities. And what they say is, the objective world is a, a momentary, is a momentary uh, uh, co uh, hap uh, happening objective happening which happens because of the collapse of the quantum wave function by an alert consciousness. So consciousness has come into science almost opened the door and it has come in. And they say and uh, uh, you will be surprised that thir 13th chapter in Bhagavad Gita I think 27th shloka Yavat Sanjayate Kinchit Sarvam Sthavar Jangamam Kshetra Kshetra Dne Sanyoga Tad Vidhi Bharatar Shabha Krishna tells you that Kshetra and Kshetra Dne when they come together the whole world comes into being and quantum mechanics tells you that the quantum wave function collapses because of the alert consciousness. So they talk about observer and unfortunately science doesn't even today like to leave their realism. So they say that reality is a is a inconceivable, multi uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, prob multiple po probabilities, and uh, it is a, can be it is a mathematical thing. So it is that means it is incomprehensible. In short, uh, Vedanta always has been telling you that the whole world is illusion. It is and real thing is incomprehensible. But anyway, so coming back to this uh, later, uh, I will come to this uh, biogenesis. In biogenesis, <coughs> uh, what has happened is that uh, uh, the cell per se, how that cell, original cell gets formed, nobody knows. Nobody knows about the live cell. And a cell constitutes of many, umpteen number of reactions within it. Even replication of cell itself is a process which nobody understands why it replicates. It replicates, that's true. Uh, the, what have the whole structure of the uh, uh, cell and the further uh, uh, jivas or uh, the, the live organisms which come into being is, is extremely complex, extremely complex. But the problem is, it is not only complexity, because complexity can be called as a syntax. Syntax means meaningless, but uh, uh, grammatically correct sentence but it be, it has to become a semantic that means it has to have a meaning and the whole organization of cell or an organism is something which is whole that means it is not just a addition of parts and that whole that what excess is there is something which is not fathomable for this to science I am not saying that science is uh, it should be left, no. But what happens is, this science needs another dimension. Hmm? Now, let us say uh, a computer science. In the computer science, the whole uh, the, uh, um, uh, science is based on uh, your uh, 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 classical physics ontological principles like continuity, uh, causality, determinism, and locality. That's how the whole computer science is based. But that is not, that means it, the whole continuity which comes in there is something which is logical. You follow me, the organism formation, all that is all logical. The, but logic, 
इट डजेंट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम कठोपनिषद से मैसा तर्के न मतरा आप नया इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू अल्टीमेट रियालिटी लॉ यू लॉजिक एंड दी यूअर रीजनिंग दैट डजेंट हेल्प यू वाई इट डजेंट हेल्प यू इट इज समथिंग विच इज लीड्स यू इट इज ओके फॉर ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड 